welcome back. This is a quick introduction of the iMedia Q10 uh, Pro version. It's an Android TV box based on the iSilicon chipset, 64-bit chip, uh, chipset, and it's very very new, fresh. The model of the chip is AGI3798C V200. It's a quad-core CPU and it runs Android 5.1 operating system so it's basically a very new product from iMedia the reason I'm showing you the items of the package like this is because the package was damaged during shipping so I'll show you all the items this way uh, special features besides the Android 5.1 operating system it runs under uh, 1080p UI resolution and it supports a special uh, processing engine with HDR feature for improving the video quality also and also supports uh, Dolby, uh, Dolby Surround and Dolby True HD uh, Dolby Atmos DTS HD and it runs Kodi also so let me show you all the items of course this is the user guide looks okay in English of course with the layout of the remote on the back this is the remote control unit what comes with the unit I think you can control also uh, the AV mode on your TV directly using this remote control and you also control the subtitles and other features you don't know normally have in standard Android uh, remote control unit and of course you have an HDMI cable standard power supply unit so unit is this one looks like this I'll show you in a second It has an external Wi-Fi antenna and on the front front panel you can see it has an LED display panel here and touch keys for navigation and operation of the box very nice feature option very clean design by the company and Let's try, try the left side. You have USB here. I think it's USB version 3, I'm not sure. And uh, you have two USB, uh, SD card here, and another USB. And on the right, you have an option to open the device, the box, and insert an, an HD drive. So you can use uh, any 3.5 inch hard drive so it's a nice feature on the back you have a venting here for cooling the unit USB 3 connection here optical coax video left right LAN HDMI and upgrade all here and it works on uh, 20 volts DC so you have the port here looks really really nice nice finish cool design I think and it should run uh, uh, also Kodi of course really nice so this is the quick introduction of the Q10 hope you enjoy it and you're welcome to follow my other videos also and to be continued and thanks for watching and bye hi folks welcome back to my second part video showing you the iMedia Q10 Pro Android TV box it runs Android 5.1.1 operating system it has 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage the solution of the box is iSilicon chipset and it's very fast 
It has a Mali T720 uh, GPU unit. It's pretty fast compared to the other models before. Uh, other TV boxes in the market, so it's pretty new. And this is a quick uh, introduction how to uh, operate the device. So you can see here you have the touch panel here. Right now the device is turned off and it's very nice. You have navigation keys here, maybe selection, playlist option here. It's a touch screen type, like a touch screen. Just click on it and it lights very nice in dark. To turn it on, you just click you just uh, click on the power here and it boots up. You have a full display here. Right now you can see it should be synchronized with the time. Here is the time. What you need to do is basically go to the settings options and adjust the date and it is synchronized with the display here. So you have also time and let me show you how it works. But before I want to show you how to replace, to add, sorry, uh, our drive unit. So you have here on the back, you have a button here that basically opens the upper part, just a cover here. It's made from sheet metal material, of course, this part. And you can use a 3.5 inch hard drive with a SATA connection you can see here the interface so basically you just put it here inside and there's a button here you need to push and that's it right now unit is connected to an hard drive. Here's the leverage here, you just you can pull it, but you need to push it in this direction. There's a connector here with the power. So right now it's pressed against the hard drive and you just close the unit. So that's the SATA drive internal bay unit option right now I'm turning on the unit to see if it works well so that's the SATA drive you can also use a 2.5 inch also works as long as you don't move the unit too much but the best option is 3.5 inch in size SSD drive also should work so stay tuned for my last part of the video showing you the UI and the features of the box. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Welcome back. This is my last part video showing you the iMedia Q10 Pro Android TV box based on high silicon chipset. It has 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage. Also, it has an uh, SATA hard drive bay, internal bay, so you can add an hard drive and other features. So this is the main UI basically. You have a nice responsive UI. Pre-installed with YouTube, for example. Works really fast, the box. another day and another day closer to the in Australia since we've done that I don't want to think how many years between the two of us we have been in the industry let's just not mention that this is quite so no problem with YouTube here we have media center option you can access your USB devices also hard drive looks really nice 
You have colors for every file category, such as video, picture, audio, app, and everything. SD card access also looks just the same. That's the LAN setting. Here you have option also, sorry, option to add shares and uh, basically use it as a server or share uh, or send files to a PC. NFS option also. Also another option for sharing media files, UPnP. So basically you can use it with a LAN. Other options. Play Store of course also works really smooth. You can see. And Skype, Facebook also pre-installed. You have an option to add more applications to the main menu, main UI, sorry. Okay, and also you have Chrome browser, so you can serve the web, of course. Also works very really fast. So that's basically it. Additional features under settings you have the network Ethernet or Wi Fi access. Here you can see all the networks, Wi Fi existing uh, Wi Fi networks. Display option you can calibrate the screen according to the screen size. Here you have information about current resolution and frame rate. Playback also features here. You can adjust, upgrade, manual upgrade or online upgrade. More information. Of course, this. UI is running under Android 5.1.1 operating system. Here you have additional Samba service option, so you can share media files also, use it as a kind of a server. You have a nice option there. And also I can show you other stuff, such as hardware information. This is the application manager, all the installed applications. You have the mirror cast option, so you basically you can mirror your mobile device into the TV. Kodi is also pre-installed, it's a special customized version that only works with iSilicon chipset. It's optimized for it. And CPU Z information, I'll show you in a second. Okay, that's the CPU Z. You can see four cores. Information, clock speed between 400 megahertz up to 1.6 gigahertz. That's the maximum clock speed for each core. Okay, GPU is Mali T720. Device information, iSilicon. And the chipset is HI3798C V200. That's the chip. Total RAM, almost uh, 2 GB, of course. Internal storage free space is uh, about 20 GB. Here you can see it runs under Android 5.1.1 operating system. I also installed an R drive so I can show you the storage information.
right ear here you can see I have about almost 11 GB of free space internal uh, storage space in addition to my current space with my hard drive I have uh, 232 GB on my hard drive that's here so that's my hard drive information so basically the operating system uh, occupies about 4 GB in total because the total space is 16 GB EMFC storage space so that's basically the box and of course let's go to Kodi I'll show you a few samples 4K videos need some improvements I got some uh, lags and uh, I'll, show, I'll first start with the 1080p resolution files So this is a Blu-ray file at 1080p resolution. Oh, I wanted to tell you, um, the it works smooth. It's uh, almost 30 GB in size, pretty big file. This is a Blu-ray ISO file format, almost one and a half GB in size. also works very smooth so 1080p not a problem okay let's check some 4K videos This one plays well. This is also okay. There isn't any audio track for it. This is a video you can see legs it should not be more fluent so this is an example another 4k video This one has legs, you can see, but it's okay, it's still reasonable. So 
so that's 4k playback needs improvements like I said Claudio works really really fast and the system is very stable benchmarks I've pre-installed on Tutu benchmarks and this, this is the score you get for this hardware 38,000 for under 477 it's a pretty high score for a quad core processor normally an octa core uh, rank about 35,000 and a bit more so th this is a high score for this specific chipset so that's into the benchmarks information Overall, it's a pretty good box, very nice, well designed, very recommended. And of course, it has an external Wi Fi antenna, so streaming works really good. I hope you enjoy my hands on review of the Q10 Pro from iMedia. You're welcome to like my blog and my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.